Here we have the 14 Reg Audi A3. Do best to point out any marks, any imperfections and things like that. So we'll start with the front right alloy and tyre here. And overall this alloy is in good shape. It does look as if some of the alloys have had a refurb at some point. Can just feel a slightly rougher finish on them. And uh, just got a little bit of a chip just there as well. Otherwise the rest of it's all nice and tidy. And on the front right tyre we've got, let's have a little look. Nearly 6mm of tread there, so absolutely loads of tread on the front right tyre. Uh, first thing I've noticed, it's really hard to see unless you're right up close. Uh, got a little bit of a deeper scratch here that's been touched in and a few very light little scratches just along there. Uh, if I stand a metre away, you can just about see it, but it's not very big in my opinion for the age of the car. Come around the right hand side, that's all pretty good. And we've got the back right alloy and tyre here as well. Again, overall this one's pretty good, uh, can't see anything wrong really with this one. And on the back right tyre, we've got just over 7.5mm of tread, so nearly a new tyre on the back right there. And I have noticed a small dent, about the size of a 5p coin just here. Very, very small, just worth pointing out. Like I say, you can hardly see it from a metre away, it is very, very tiny. Coming around the back of the Audi A3, of course you've got your rear parking sensors. And from what I can see, back bumper's all pretty tidy. You've just got a very small ding just here. And a little bit that's just been touched in just there. So a light scratch that's been touched in. That is really hard to see again, unless you're within about a metre away. Or within a metre, I should say. So coming around the back here, of course you've got the parcel shelf. Plenty of room in there. And we have got a spare in this one as well. And coming around the back left hand side, that's all good. And here we've got the back left alloy and tyre. Again, overall this alloy is pretty good. Just a few little chips just on the edge of that one. Otherwise it's all nice and tidy. Little scuff here, can't really see anything else. And on the back left tyre, we've got just over 6mm of tread there. And um, the next thing worth pointing out, so we've just got a very light little graze, uh, just a light little scuff across there. Stood a metre away. Again, it's very hard to see. And um, we have got a little bit of a dent here, maybe about the size of a penny coin, this one. Again, stood a metre away. You can see it. It all depends what sort of light you can get it in. Come around the left-hand side. That's all pretty good from what I can see. And we've got a front left alloy and tyre here as well. Again, overall this one's pretty good. And on this tyre, we've got nearly 5mm of tread there, so plenty on there. Now come around the front bumper. Just looks as if you've just got a few light stone chips, which you will get with the age. A few more just down here. and just some on this side as well, so just here. But otherwise that's all pretty good. And the bonnet, free from any major chips. I mean, you've got a few, you've got one here, another one here that's been touched in. But again, they are relatively minor and just one here that's been touched in as well. But stood a metre away and you can see just how small they are. I mean, my fingerprint stands out even more than the actual chip. But otherwise, the rest of that's all good. Uh, windscreen, free from any major chips or cracks. And we have just got the one key with this one. And if I show you the inside now. So we've got the driver's door there. That's all nice and tidy. Again, the inside, I'll point out if there's any Anything worth pointing out. Just a few little bits of the seams coming off just there. And otherwise that's all pretty good. Just a little bit of wear on the bolster, which you do get. And if I just jump in now as well. I've got just over 46,000 miles on the clock on this one as well. So nice low mileage for the age of a car. And if I just start it up.
as you can see that all runs exactly as it should obviously the automatic start stop and uh, we'll get working uh, before it goes out so I'm not sure if that's just because it's got low battery but obviously just double check with us I'm sure we can get that sorted a little bit of wear just there otherwise the rest of it's all nice and tidy I uh, got the lights just down there obviously this all works exactly as it should as well and I think you'd have to get a uh, an SD card for this one but it does look as if the options there and uh, you got the dual heated zone obviously the automatic gear stick there and the armrest got the front left seat and that's all nice and tidy front left door and the rest of that all very nice and tidy on the inside and so we've got the back right door here again that's all good back of the driver's seat back of the front passenger seat back left door and then we've got the rear seats here and you have got the isofix just in the bottom of those rear seats as well just down here and there we go that's the 14 reg audi a3 overall in good condition for a car that's six years old oh no eight years old thank you